Are we live? I think we're fucking live. Welcome back, you glorious bastards and magnificent. It is I, Doc Camo, and we're back from my fucking fishing trips and such. But we got Miami twerking riots going on right now. You read that right? Miami twerking riots. People are acting up. Like Two thousand plus people arrested. Like it's it's crazy. Miami's hot right now because it, it it's open. It does like people are going down there. It, it has its things. It, it's not closed down like other cities and stuff. And people have been cooped up, and it's starting to explode and backfire. Like this isn't like riots and name of social justice. This is just people acting a fool, act a fool, act a fool. Let's get into this. Um, Miami Beach uses SWAT teams to clear wild spring breakers defying COVID COVID curfew. curfew like, uh, well, I guess they have a curfew, but whatever. Miami police used SWAT teams to try and enforce its emergency curfew against out of control spring breakers, also sparking a wild stampede by firing pepper balls, according to reports. <laughs> Videos on social media and local media show thousands of parties defying both COVID-19 pandemic and the Florida beaches town's curfew after it started at 8 p.m. Saturday. <laughs> uh, this has been going on for a while now. It's just 8th in the ocean, South Beach. Um, can we actually see what's going on a bit? I don't know how that's going. Yeah, see, that's a multicultural party. That's like, that's what I like. I, it, it's not white people beating up black people, black people beating up white people, black people beating up Asians, white black people beating up Asians. It's not hate crimes. It's just people getting drunk. That's how it. That's how it should be. I was like. Even the SWAT, even the police SWAT teams rolled into the block, the streets, and used piercing sound cannons to try and clear the completely packed streets. The parties continued to rage for hours. Upward, <laughs> people. I hit my dog making noise over there. I thought she was like getting into something. But yeah, even the people, people have been so bottled up. Let me put my coffee down. People have been bottled up so much that they're exploding now that they have a, a little bit of freedom. Videos, are, like, I mean, it could be worse. We'll we'll get into that later. But you you could live in Britain. Uh, videos shared on social media showed some standing among the masses to throw up money. Well, <laughs> uh, well, others showered women twerking atop cars long after the curfew was supposedly. So people were out there making it rain and making it bounce. <laughs> Oh, as riots go, this is awesome. At least one woman climbed on top of a police car vehicle to dance provocatively, the, Mariah, the Miami Herald noted. Police ultimately fired pepper balls at the crowd, the Daily Beast said, with wild video showing a mad stampede in the still-packed crowd. Several people were knocked to the ground, including one man who expertly held a Hennessy bottle to protect it from smashing the outlet, noted. It was immediately clear if anyone was injured, in Miami Pol Beach Police has yet to announce if there were any arrests. The streets were not fully cleared until closed at midnight. A full, uh, full four hours after the curfew started, the Miami Herald said, God damn it. Dude. I mean, I'd do it. It's a nice scene. I'd watch the twerking. I said, Miami, it was fucking hot, man. They... Local officials enforced the curfew after mass fighting and a rise in crime among the mass spring breakers who are also defying coronavirus safety protocols, they said. Miami Beach City Commission is scheduled to hold an emergency 3 p.m. meeting Sunday to discuss the temporary curfew, which interim city manager Raul Aguila, who declared a state of emergency. These crowds are in the thousands, Aguila told the paper. We're at capacity. We're at capacity. <laughs> You're beyond capacity. But the curfew will make no difference. Several visitors told the Daily Beast, including Q. Johnson, a 20-year-old student at Manhattan College in New York. Yeah, New York. See, New York. New York is the, the worst restrictions in the country. Of course, they're going to be acting cool. It's out here, Johnson said. I mean, they, they should be chaotic in New York because New York's one whole room lockdown. But 
they're going to go where they can go. It's crazy out here, Johnson said. It's lit. It's chaotic. Too many motherfuckers out here being lawless. He insisted he was not worried about the pandemic, saying, We're good. You were young. University of Illinois senior Jeb. Jeb Jones, 24, told the outlet that the low point was merely waiting in line to get into McDonald's. <laughs> The curfew is not going to stop me, he vowed. He will continue to rage. The bars are great. Uh, as long as the party's going, as long as we get the party started and the party keeps going, we're going to be here. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Spring Breakers and you opened it up. What did you think that was going to happen? You got every single person in the United States of America that was willing to risk it and was sick of being cooped up, every last one of them. We didn't get everyone that was sick of being cooped up, because some of us just didn't listen, and we just did our own thing. But it, it, what did you think was going to happen? It, it's too late now. You've got to deal with this. Um, we shouldn't have been locked down, and it wouldn't have been this bad, and we could have like had things. But you know, it's easy to say that in hindsight, when we now know that this virus's survival level is 99.8% for most people. But when we first made these decisions, we didn't truly know that. So it's like you, you, you can only fault people to a point. But it is what it is. But we got to open back up. We got to get things back to normal before this starts to spread, because it will start to spread. These people have got a taste of their freedom, their absolute freedom. They're gonna go home after this, and they're gonna want that. <laughs> they're gonna want that back, and it's gonna spread. That's how it works. Alcohol prohibition didn't work because it spread. Marijuana prohibition isn't working because that, like that, that the, the use of stuff spread. It, it, this is just human nature. This is how societies works. This is this is how our country works. <laughs> you can't control the flow of information, which you're trying with all the censorship. You can't control the flow of people, and which you're trying with these lockdowns. You just can't control the flow. <laughs> And the system do what the system do, boo-boo. And we're going to get ready for the real party. Because if we don't open up soon, it's going to get bad. People are going to get all partied out. They're going to start actually paying attention. And a block party going to turn into a war party real fucking quick. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right. And my biggest Matthew McConaughey impression, which was not that good. We're moving right along to the president of these United States, the legitimate president of these United States. He's revealing more of the truth in a speech. He called Kamala president. Let's, oh, you just can't make this. Up. Let's check this crap out. So uh, this is from New York Post. Uh, Dismiss that crap. Biden calls Kamala President Harris during speech. So Biden on Thursday called his voice, oh damn ants, called his voice, Vice President Kamala Harris, President Harris, while celebrating the U.S. nearly administration of 100 million COVID-19 vaccine doses. Biden said, now when President Harris and I took a, vi a virtual tour of a vaccination center in Arizona not long ago, one of the nurses on that on that tour injected people giving vaccination said that each shot was like administering a dose of hope. Harris joined Biden for his remarks at the White House, but her reaction to the slip was not recorded in the official video feed. Oh, that is ridiculous. This little dose of hope. People have caught and taken the vaccine and got the virus. It's a fucking virus. Vaccines for viruses don't really work because the virus mutates too quickly. Same thing works for flu. Any given year, that flu vaccine could be anywhere from 10% effective to 56% effective, etc. It just, it may or may not work. It's, <laughs> it's not the first time Biden has given Harris an oral promotion. Uh, an oral promotion, isn't she the one? That I... <laughs> Oh, bad dog. In December, Biden referred to Harris as the president-elect when discussing how they publicly received COVID vaccine shots. I took it to instill public confidence in the vaccine. President-elect Harris took hers today for the same reason. Biden said at the same time, ah, oh, Biden. During the presidential campaign, Biden 
President Donald Trump frequently accused Biden of being in mental decline and claimed Democrats would invoke the 25th Amendment to replace Biden with Harris. And uh, I, I don't think they'll do that with Harris having more power in the Senate right now because if she is the president and the vice president – and there's a tied Senate. She has more power as the vice president. Um, that's why they're trying to protect Biden. At least that's what I believe. Yeah, okay. There we go. At the White House event this month, Biden appeared to forget the name of the Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, referred, referring to him as the guy who runs that outfit over there. We talked about that. <laughs> Fucking mental gaffes. Biden is just unfit. Biden will conduct his first White House press conference next Thursday after gripes that he had broken more than 100-year record and Da, 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 da. At Thursday event celebrating vaccine progress, Biden repeated to suggest that people can host small Fourth of July backyard gardens while also repeating that there is enough vaccine supply for all adults in May. Yeah, whatever. If we keep up guard, I already can. You don't have the permission on whether I can celebrate my independence. If we keep our guard up, stick together, and stick with the science, we can look forward to the Fourth of July that feels a bit more normal with small groups able to gather for quick. Uh, we work at gathering anyway, you piece of shit. Some medical experts and Republicans have ridiculed Biden's mention of small gatherings on 4th of July is out of touch. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell on Monday said Biden may need to get out more to see that due to lower outdoor risks, Americans are already getting together in small groups outdoors in blue states and red states and small towns and big cities. Biden's chief medical advisor, Dr. Fauci, said Tuesday it's entirely conceivable and possible that people could gather in large groups on the 4th of July. Although people are going to gather in large Large groups on the fourth of July. It's just there's, there's no if ands or buts about it. You are not the guardian over our freedom. You protect our freedom. You don't give it to us. You need to start remembering that again. But anyway, this dude, he can't remember people's names. Um, he's already the Harris is already running for president. We've already been discussing that. Like she's pretty much the president. Um, he's all but admitted it. He's had several gaffes where he was like, "We put together the largest voter fraud organization." Like he's fucking telling the truth. Like they fucking fortified the election. Time magazine admitted it. Like this is ridiculous. He needs to be removed, and he needs to be removed immediately. Everybody needs to stop listening to him. The, the federal government has lost all legitimacy, and it needs to be treated as such. It's time to invoke the Declaration of Independence and absolve the ties that bind. And do that peacefully. Open your businesses. Go back to work. Uh, buy guns. Exercise your freedoms. Don't listen to the fucking FBI. Don't listen to any of the federal authority. And if the federal authority tries to fucking exert its, its useless authority over you, ignore it. Defend yourself. Until they un themselves, they have no legitimacy, and we need to operate as such. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry if people think this is illegal. I'm sorry if people are uncomfortable hearing that. It's just a goddamn truth right now. It's a clown show. From both sides, left, right, and sideways. It's a fucking clown show. And the only way we're going to sh show them that there's a difference now that they've can change the way elections work so they can never lose again is to completely ignore them and defend ourselves if they try to use force to exert their useless authority. They get their right to govern from your consent. Stop consenting. Make them un themselves. You know, the food prices are going up. You should start growing food, start saving food, start storing food, start getting food ammo, start prepping. It's going to get bad if we don't keep going. Like it. It's turning out to look like V and Vendetta in Britain, and we're going to get into that here shortly. But it's ridiculous. The entire world is going crazy. It's not just here. It's going to happen. Every 80 to 100 years or so, we repeat the same cycle of garbage, and we're on course for that cycle of garbage. Depressionists, recessionists, like uh, tax problems, like it's just, it's never the same, but it's the same general premise. And and people, <laughs> the war, like, we've had the disease, we're moving into the money issues. This we might go. <laughs> it's gonna get bad if we don't unfuck ourselves. Like, what's the point of le learning from history if we don't actually listen to it and not do the same things over and over and over and over again? Granted, the, the disease. 
there's nothing you can do about that if a disease shows up or mutates or comes or uh, whichever reason why it comes every 100 years or so that's just something we have to deal with <laughs> but we could do stuff to prevent the war we could do stuff to prevent the in the rising food prices and stuff the unnatural un